Okay, everyone so the first thing we're going to do is using up some of these you know really small little stamps and things sometimes we just don't have any clue what to do with them and the first one is washi tape you can actually stamp on washi tape so say if I just pop some here let's just see on the bottom of my card just wrap it round now I have experimented with ink and I found the only ink that didn't smudge was stays on. As you can see I tried it with, that was archival, um, but it just, it, it wouldn't dry basically. So a good stays on. This time I've got these really sweet little hearts and I'm just going to ink them up. And then let's see if I pop it in the middle. I'm just checking you can see. And I'll just keep it on a little bit just to make sure it soaks in. And then lift that up and you've got a really sweet little um, sort of customized washi tape there. And then obviously if you take some more you can just you know give it a kind of repeat pattern but I mean you don't have to you can put something completely different on there but I think that's a lovely little idea and let's just see if you have some little stamps with say uh, personalized I don't know sister friend dad whatever you could you know personalize your card by putting that on so definitely have a go at stamping on washi tape now this one is kind of a similar sort of thing but you can also stamp on ribbon now I found for that archival ink to work great it didn't smudge or anything that's been on there about an hour or so so I thought what might be a nice idea was if we get the ribbon again so say if you're gonna have it you know on your card make sure you would you know definitely cut enough so that you're gonna have enough to stamp on the pattern so say if I take the ribbon let's just trim a bit off with my blunt scissors right so we've got the ribbon there and this is like a really satin ribbon as well so it works fine on that and then these really small little stamps again they're all you know auntie sister brother boyfriend whatever and I've just put the two on a block which say Merry Christmas now this would be brilliant for little Christmas cards and stuff so I've got the black archival Just ink that up and then I am going to stamp this on here. How cool is that? You know, you can pay quite a bit of money actually for little, you know, personalised ribbons like this. And why bother when you can make your own? And you know, it doesn't really matter if they're not lined up perfect does it because you know you've made it yourself and I think somebody would be more appreciative the fact that you've actually took the time to make it rather than it being perfect isn't that just adorable and I mean you can read it it's not blurry it's really crisp actually so they would be brilliant for you know Christmas cards 
you can just wrap it round say the bottom of your Christmas card or depending on what stamps you have you might have some which say if father mother whatever but I'll be doing that this year because I think that's really really sweet and as you can see it dries beautifully and I've literally just stamped that so let's move on to the next one all right now this one um these these are small stamps but I thought why not just actually convert them well make them into one big background stamp and there's a few well there's a couple of ways you can do that so what I've done is I just put a couple of distress colours on this card and um, it's not the best I'm not the best blender but I just really want to show you what I mean and what I've done is I've got the stamp here this is the stamp set that I'm going to use which is here and what I've done is I've just kind of rearranged the bottom and I've just took a couple of them off I didn't want the two in the from and then I've just you know kind of juggled the bottom bits around and then I'm going to leave it on the sheet and if you take like a sort of removable little tape pen or something like that which I have got or I've even got these sort of removable um, sticky dots I might just use these actually and I'm just going to turn the stamp over so that we've got the clear side on and I'm just going to take a couple of these little glue dots and I'm just going to stick them onto this stamp here and I just put one there and another one there I mean put as many as you want because they come off so it, you know it doesn't matter it's not like it's going to ruin the stamp and then I'm going to take my piece of card that I've inked and I'm going to wipe it with an embossing buddy or an anti-static bag whatever you want to call it okay now I'm going to position this just really anywhere on here because I can trim it down and I'm just going to line up the corner with the side of the stamping platform actually and then I'm going to lay that on there without getting it stuck to myself and then when I close the mat close the lid sorry should hopefully stick to the glass top and it has so I'm going to ink this up with some Versamark there we go so now I'm going to pop some clear embossing powder on so I will pop some clear powder on and then I will be straight back there we go so I've heat embossed it with clear powder and I've just trimmed it down and all I really need to do now is pop that on a card base and you know add whatever else I want so that is another brilliant way to use up those small little stamps now here's another way so I've got another piece of card and I'm going to pop it in to my stamping platform now this one's a little bit more time consuming but it is really good so I have these two stamp sets I love these I believe they're by Altenew and they're all about like crafting and you know crafty all crafty little sentiments and some yeah like little really tiny little images you know tiny little leaves and things like that so it would be too big to make a card with for me and if I cut it down I'll probably end up cutting some of the little sentiments off so I'm going to make my own type of background stamp and all I'm going to do is basically just pick out what stamps are like so 
I have crafty hooks which I could have here on the bottom I think you, you can see where I'm going straight away with this but just have it any way you want it now obviously just take your time and try and get them straight we've got handmade this is a great way to use up you know all those little tiny stamps that you have no clue what to do with just get just get I mean it doesn't even have to be sentiments it could be anything it could be some you know random little flower dyes you have or you know all sorts of stuff just they don't even have to be from the same set they could be from completely different uh, stamp sets create happiness um, I have this one here just wherever you want them but this is where um, a stamping platform you know really comes in handy things like this it's just perfect for them and then I could have that there so I think just make sure they're not upside down obviously So that is, where's my hearts? Has it not stamped the hearts? For some reason it hasn't stamped them, but there we go. Basically, oh, now I've moved it and ruined it, but yeah, basically you can create your own uh, backgrounds with your stamps. Um, I can't believe I've done that. I mustn't have had the card in the corner and I haven't made the card big enough. That's why I couldn't put the magnets on. But you get exactly what I mean. Grab all your little stamps, whatever little stamps you have, and just create your own. So, let's move on to the next one. Alright, this next one, I think this is my favourite actually, you probably already know but I think it's worth going over it again or even new crafters may not know but this is a great way to use up your stamps, smaller stamps, even a bit larger stamps really and it's, I think you call it um, like a partial silhouette. So I've got a few examples actually because I really enjoyed this. This is the first one. And honestly don't think oh it's so easy to do so I messed the butterfly up a little bit but it's still a really pretty card this one here dead easy to do and then I turned this one into a little window type of card so I'm going to show you how easy it is to do this and all I've done is I've created I'm going to use this one I made before actually I created a little mask and all I did was I took a card base and I cut an oval from it. Now as you can see here you could maybe use a fancier die shape, it could be a square, it could be a hexagon, whatever you've got just use that to cut out your little aperture in the middle. So I've got the card base that I'm going to be using and I always use the scotch low tack tape in my opinion this is one of the best you can buy I've used this for years now and I love it because it genuinely does not tear your card and then I'm also just going to put the little aperture that I've cut out over the top here so I know it's not going to move now again it's up to you what ink you use um, this one was what I'm going to use now broken china and tumbled glass 
um, and this one was crackling campfire and fossilised amber in the distress oxide inks. So I've got broken china again and I've got tumbled glass, so two colours. All I'm going to do is start with the broken china, the slightly darker blue. And I'm going to load up my little brush here. And I'm going to come in from the bottom left hand corner. And I'm just going to start to kind of blend this sort of stain in the bottom left hand. I'm, I'm not kind of going much more than halfway across. Just something like that. And then I'm going to come in with the tumbled glass, which is the lighter shade. Load up my little brush. And then I'm going to go a little bit further up with this one, but just try to sort of blend them together. And I honestly think the easiest way to blend them is to just keep you know, going over and over. And can you see how that's, you know, sort of getting lighter as it goes up? I'm quite happy with that actually. Give a little bit more on there and maybe a little bit of the darker blue just on the bottom here. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Now leave the mask on and I've got this is the stamp set I've used for all of these little cards actually. It's a Wildflowers by Creative Expressions. And I wouldn't say some of them are big stamps, but I'm going to go for these two here, which are a little bit smaller. Again, any kind of stamp like this would do, it doesn't really matter. Just use what you've got basically. And then I'm going to take my black ink I'm going to use this one here and I'm going to ink this up okay and then I'm going to kind of have this one about here And then I'm going to take this other one and I'm going to pop this one, maybe it's just there. Okay, just like that. And then once we take this away, we're left with this beautiful um, kind of half um, mask kind of design, silhouette style. And you know, you saw that didn't take me long at all. Now, what you can then do is you can leave it as is and just mount it on your card and put a little sentiment. Um, I'll get those ones in that I made again. You know, just something like that. It's entirely up to you. But have a try because I think it really is so simple, but it's a brilliant way to, to use up your you know smaller stamps. Maybe it's little stamps that you don't really know what to do with. It could even just be a couple of leaves or sprays off an another stamp set you have that you just don't use. You could build up a little picture with them. Yeah, but I'm going to also show you another alt, like another way we can do this. So um, that'll be in the next clip.
Okay, so the next part of this kind of silhouette stamping was something else I thought of. Um, I'm going to use the same little mask again. And again, I've got another piece of card and I'm just going to attach a bit of this down. Now, I'm going to put this mask on again that I used before. But we're going to do it a little bit different. I thought this might look nice as well. So, I'm going to take the same uh, tumbled glass ink. But this time I'm going to sort of go all the way around. But just keep it to the outsides. So, I'm just going to keep going round. I'm going to take a bigger stamp here, any stamp you've got of course, just use what you have. I'm just going to put it on a block and then I'm going to take again this first fine black ink. is kind of get the stamp where I want it to be but I'm going to keep the mask on this time so I'm just going to manoeuvre it where I think will look the best I'm going to go for here middle hasn't stamped. I should have used my stamping platform but that's the kind of look that I wanted to create. So just a sort of mask but keeping the image in the middle as well instead of you know like keeping it all entrapped in the, in the oval or whatever shape you're going to use but maybe use a platform because for some reason it hasn't stamped the middle so you could just put it in your stamp and platform, line it up and do it that way. But you get what I mean by that. I think that's a beautiful way as well. And whatever image you do, it'll just be entrapped, you know, in the mask itself. So let's move on to the next one. All right, so this one is, I suppose, using like little stamps or different stamps to create like backgrounds. Now this one is just a pretty simple one. I've just stamped a couple of little stamps in different colours. This one I've kind of created a beautiful background and it looks like the stamps are behind and you know just in, in different positions and this was really easy to do. And I'm going to show you all I've got is a piece of cardstock and I've got again some of that scotch low tack tape. Now I'm just going to pop it on like so and this is going to be the kind of cut off point where I'm going to have the stamps. Now I've grabbed a few they're not even from the same set they're just from random sets that I've just you know kind of thought would look nice together. And I'm going to start with this purple ink. I'm going to stamp this flower here. And I'm just going to pop it there. Just completely random. And then this stamp actually comes with a little centerpiece particularly if you're not very good at colouring in and stuff. You can just grab this stamp, pop it on a block and what I like to do is when I stamp this, so I'm going to again 
I'm going to stamp it in the exact same colour. Okay, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp it off on a piece of scrap first and then I'm going to line it up and then it just takes away some of that in you know, really strong colour. Now here's the thing, <clears throat> to get them where they kind of look like, you know, they hide and behind each other and stuff, if you have some just regular sticky notes, stamp it on a sticky note and then just fussy cut it out and this can now be your little mask. So for example, I can pop that mask on there and I know it's sticky because it's a sticky note. And then again, I'm going to stamp it again. And I'm literally just going to stamp over the mask. I'm going to keep the mask on and I'm going to do the same with the infill piece. Again, I'm going to stamp it off. I'm going to stamp that. Now when I take that off it looks like they're kind of you know behind each other and then if I put this little mask on again just stick it over like so. Is that the right one? Okay. I have to get it right. This one here I stick that over there I can then take some other little bits like little leaves just take some green ink here and I'm just going to test it first and I could have a little leaf popping out from there or from here just wherever you want, <clears throat> like so. And again, I'm going to pop this one over here because I want to have some of these little leaves kind of popping out from the top. Whoopsie, <laughs> stamped them in the wrong colour. That's okay, it doesn't really matter. They can be any colour you want them to be, really. I have one just here so now when I take that away I have little kind of leaves you know peeping out from underneath so this is a really good way a really good way to do it and then you can just move along and make it all the same kind of um, stamps if you want or you can add in different ones so I think what I'm going to do is just pop this back on and I'll probably speed it up and then continue stamping these flowers. hope you get what I mean. Now obviously I've took a little bit more time on this one and um, you know used a few more colours and infilled the little bits but it's just to give you an idea of how you can do it and then once you peel your tape off you have a lovely kind of neat design. Now you could have that down the side of your card, you could have it this way, you could do another one underneath it um, and what I did with this one was I just popped a little bit of double sided tape and then I just poured glitter on and made my own little kind of glitter strip um, or you could actually put some card underneath it like little thin strips of card you know use whatever you want 
but that's just another way you can get more uses out of your stamp or stamps rather um, yeah <clears throat> I really like that one actually so let's move on to the next one all right I'm going to make this the last one now I have talked about this before but as I said I do get new subscribers every day so someone may not have saw this but this Sizzix um, creamy acrylic paint this is in white this stuff is amazing especially if you like stamping on to black card you can use any stamp whether it be rubber you know photopolymer silicon whatever you want and but I have to say you must wash it off straight away warm soapy water under the tap you know give it a little br a little scrub with a, a little sponge or something because if you let that dry it will stain the stamp completely and I wouldn't like to say if it would affect how it's stamped I don't know but definitely wash it off straight away now I'm going to show you this because I've got a piece of black card here a different stamp this is kind of dream catcher stamp that I've got and um, I think this one is from Aliexpress or in love art it's one of the two and I am going to put some of the white acrylic just on the mat you don't need loads that's probably too much and I've just got a little blender here now I'm going to get some of the paint just so I know all the little sponge is covered there and I'm literally going to take the stamp and just dab it on now obviously I'm getting some on the block don't worry about that because you're going to again wash it all off I'll just lightly dab it on now we do have to be pretty quick so take our card I've got the stamp on here I'm going to pop it on there and I'm going to press just like you would with regular ink I think that is actually amazing not just pretty good that is amazing for acrylic paint it dries exactly the same well actually better than pigment ink it dries so quick and it stamps I know you can get white pigment inks I've got a couple myself but I do tend to find that they may stamp well for the first couple of times and then you still sort of always seem to be left with like bits missing I, I can't describe it I think you would probably know what I mean but that has picked up every fine little detail so I'm gonna have to wash my stamp so I hope you've enjoyed it and um, by the time this video comes out it'll be Sunday and I will be away I'm going away for a week so there won't be any videos until the end of next week but um, thanks so much for watching Take care and bye for now.